predicting precipitation, this is going to be like uh, what we did for predicting equilibrium, sort of, okay? So where you had the Q, and so here we call it QIP, and so QIP is more than KSP, then precipitation is going to occur because then, yes, the concentration of the products is more than the KSP. If QIP is less than KSP, then there is no precipitation. Okay, and so that's, those are the two things you have to keep in mind <clears throat> when you look for uh, predicting precipitation problems. So let's look at the first one here. If one milligram of sodium chromate is added to 225 milliliters of 0 0.00015 molar silver nitrate, will a precipitate form? And then the KSP is given to us. Okay, well, fine. First of all, we're going to find concentration of ions. Okay, so find concentration of ions because you only have the milligrams given to you. All right, so 1.00 milligrams of sodium chromate and then convert that into grams. One gram has 1,000 <coughs> milligrams times in one mole of sodium chromate, you have 162 grams of sodium chromate. That's coming from the periodic table. And then you have one mole of chromate ion in one mole of sodium chromate, All right? So that gives us the concentration, which is equal to 6.17 times 10 to the negative, six moles. So we haven't divided by volume yet. Okay, here's the volume. So which is what we're going to do, but let me go ahead and cross out my units to make sure I'm good here. Milligram, milligram, gram gram moles and moles I'm left with the moles here so 6.17 times 10 to the negative 6 <clears throat> moles of the chromate ion divided by 0 0.225 liters so convert that into liters to calculate molarity <clears throat> 2.74 times 10 to the negative 5 molar and that is your chromate ions okay so um, Two, 2 minus. <clears throat> then we will go ahead and calculate our uh, silver ions and silver ions are given right here. So silver ion concentration is equal to 0 0.00015 molar. And so then we set up our equilibrium expression CrO4. This is a silver chromate. <clears throat> and two silver plus chromate ions. Okay, that's what we are trying to do. And so chromate ion has been added to silver nitrate. <clears throat> so which means you're forming silver chromate, which is why we're writing this. <clears throat> QIP is calculated just like you would calculate for KSP. And so this is equal to the silver ions okay and then squared and the chromate ions now you don't have to double the concentration because the concentration of the total number of silver ions is already given to you so no need to write two over here okay remember that so then 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 squared and then chromium is 2.74 times 10 to the negative 5. Once you do the calculation, it is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 13. Do the calculation yourself. If it's different, let me know. Because my calculator sometimes is kind of funky. Anyhow, so this is the uh, QIP calculated and the KSP is given right here. So KSP is 1.1 times 10 to the negative. 12. So QIP is less than um, the KSP, so no precipitation. Okay, that's the final answer, no precipitation, because QIP was less. So that's how you would have to do this, is calculate for uh, KSP, sort of, okay, when you're doing these calculations. Here is another example. If you have 0.100 liters of 0 0.0015, 
magnesium chloride and you add that to 0 0.200 liters of 0 0.025 molar sodium fluoride will a precipitate form for uh, magnesium fluoride okay so that's what uh, the problem is so then here is our equation magnesium fluoride is equilibrium with magnesium 2 plus and two fluoride ions and aqueous and aqueous and solid and ksp is of course the 3.7 but that's what we're going to use to co convert to compare our qip so anyhow let us start with the concentration so magnesium ions is going to be well before i start with the magnesium ions let me go ahead and calculate the total volume because since we're adding both liquids over here you need to add both the volumes, so 0 0.1 liters and 0 0.200 liters, and that's 0 0.3 liters, okay, of solution that you have. So that's the total volume, which we will need for the concentration. So the magnesium ions then are 0 0.100 liter right here, and then you have 0 0.0015 moles in one liter, and in one mole of magnesium chloride, there is one mole of magnesium. It's important to make sure that you do this conversion and then you multiply it by or divide it by the liters. Okay, and this is going to be the total volume, not the initial one, because now you need to have the concentration um, of the final solution. All right, so then here your answer is going to be 5.0 times 10 to the negative 4. Sorry for the space, but I'm running out. And then fluoride ions is going to be the same thing. 0 0.200 liters times 0 0.025 moles over one liter. And now we have one mole of fluoride, same thing. One mole of sodium fluoride that's given to us right here. And then divide that by the total concentration, uh, the total volume and this gives us 1.7 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. So now we have the both concentrations of our um, ions and so all we need to do is calculate the QIP. So QIP is equal to the magnesium ions times the fluoride ions but we have two of those so we're going to square this and so this is going to be 5.0 times 10 to the negative 4 multiplied by fluoride which is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 2 squared and this is then equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 7 that's your QIP and now you compare it to the KSP and KSP is 3.7 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay, that's the KSP. So when you compare this, you can see that QIP is more than KSP. So, yay, precipitation happens. Well, if you want it to happen. So um, this one is, yes, there is precipitation. So both examples give you a little bit different thing. In the first one, there was a solid that was given to you. Here, you're, you're adding two solutions. So the important thing with the two solutions is that you have to find the total volume. That's the important thing. And initially in the first problem, there was only one volume. 